Hey everyone, thanks for joining us. You're gonna have a great time in the next few minutes hearing from really good strategies from some CEOs and entrepreneurs in Arkansas on the Shrimp Tank, where we teach you how to go from a shrimp to a shark in the business world. Everybody. Welcome to the post-show wrap-up video of the Arkansas Shrimp Tank Podcast. I'm your host, Rich Jensen, along with my co-host, Matt Haas. I almost said David Sims for those of you who are regular watchers, but uh, Matt joined us today, along with our guest, Mitch Bettis of the Arkansas Business Publishing Group. We had a really fun time talking with Mitch, learning about the publishing business and where it's going and what it's doing. Um, we like to do this every week on the podcast is, is bring in top entrepreneurs or C-suite executives or business owners and find out really what's the best thing about um, running a business and what's the hardest thing so we can learn from their successes and their failures. So we want to highlight some of the conversation that we had um, just completed with Mitch. And so, Matt, I think you wanted to ask the first question there. Yeah. Mitch, I know you've been in the business 30 years, right? And you've seen a lot of changes in technology. We talked about that. But we we're curious to get your opinion on what, what you see in the next five to 10 years because of how fast technology is changing and how that's going to affect your business. I'm confident there's no better time to be in our business despite all that change. Mm -hmm. And here's what we know. People are desperate for great content. So mm -hmm. I'm confident on what's going to stay the same is that uh, our, the audience is going to need dependable, trusted, meaningful, relevant content that's going to help them make decisions in life. Right. What is going to change is basically how they consume it. The mm -hmm. idea that there was a podcast or a vcast or anything like that 20 years ago is, would have been inconceivable. So mm -hmm. how we change, how we consume content is definitely going to change. But beyond that, great content is always going to be valuable. Good. A little confession here. I'm a Harry Bosch fan. I've read all the Michael Connolly books, and then so I watched all the things on uh, on Amazon Prime. What's funny is I went back and I reread them when I started watching the miniseries, and they talk about flip phones, or they talk about pagers, <laughs> and everything. You go, this really wasn't that long right, ago. Right, <laughs> so right, technology right, is right. changing uh, yeah. incredibly fast, and mm -hmm. I can't imagine mm -hmm. trying to keep up with it in the publishing world, mm -hmm. but, but you guys are doing a great job, Thank so you. kudos oh. to you. So, One of the things you also shared, Matt asked you about that five-legged stool approach that you have right. within the company. Right. Um, share with our viewers a little bit about that. I thought that was fascinating. So really, the five-legged stool for us is the ethos of the company. It represents represents the five key stakeholders that we as an organization value. Those would be our employees, that would be our vendors, that would be our readers, that would be our advertisers, and that would be our stockholders. And philosophically, it's important that we treat all of those with value mm -hmm. and understanding that each one has a unique importance to an organization's success. We could suck out all the profit and send it to stockholders, but we do that at a great expense to our uh, employees who may mm -hmm. hurt our product and therefore hurt our readers or hurt our advertisers. So, uh, or we could go ask our vendors to uh, work for the very down to the very last nickel of profitability, but that doesn't really provide a good partnership opportunity for people we need to be successful. Right. So, the five leg stool is the, the philosophy. There really is how do how are we subject to one another? How do we understand each other and value each other? Uh, so that we need and know that we need each other to be successful. And along that lines, if you if you work for Mitch, listen to the whole podcast and find out how to get a ten thousand dollar ring. That's right. That's right. Yeah. I mean, that's they're right. editing that out. I promise. You'll... But one thing I liked when you talked about your advertisers, which is a, a unique thing, is you talk about in the future or even now. It's not how much or how many people, but. But who? That's right. Elaborate just slightly on that while so, we have the time. So we're a niche publishing company, so this idea c comes easy for us. But the idea that we want to cater to a narrowly focused audience. We understand who that audience is, whether that's with our business publication, our bridal publication, many of the other niche publications that we have, or our digital operation or our events division. Understand who your audience is. And it's not necessarily hundreds of thousands of people. Right. Uh, it may be one <laughs> or, a, or a few hundred or a few thousand and cater to them in a, in a, in a special way that meets their needs. And do, do me a favor because I won't remember them all and you might not even remember them all, but share with our viewers some of the 
publications you guys publish, so they understand that niche. Yeah, and, it's it's uh, these some of these may put you to sleep. But we have <laughs> we have a publication uh, that's produced annually that goes to uh, meeting event planners, mm. and it lists every venue in the yeah. state of Arkansas where you could host an event. Now imagine how sexy that is, right? It has square <laughs> footage. It has uh, audio visual. You know, this is sign me up. Yeah, this isn't something most people are going to read. But if you serve that audience, right? Mm -hmm. If that's your job. Job, this is an invaluable resource. We have a uh, duck hunting magazine, not just duck hunting, executive duck hunting. <laughs> it, it's uniquely catered toward executive duck hunters. There are uh, publications on commercial leasing. There's uh, city regional magazines, family magazines. Big players, Arkansas Business, that's Little Rock Family, yeah. uh, Soiree. Well, yeah, that's right. Uh, Arkansas Bride. Arkansas uh, Bride. You mentioned, we talked about uh, Arkansas Next and some yeah. of the other things that are there. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so and one of those five, leg is, uh, five legs of the stool is employees, right? That's so right. you shared some of the things you do to take really good care of your employees. So <laughs> I thought it'd be good for our listeners to hear that just because uh, every company is different in the culture they create, but you have some unique things that you do. <laughs> well, if you really value your employees, we all say that we value our employees, right? That's the mm -hmm. thing we're supposed to say, but really, what does that mean? And so for us, the way that manifests in our building is we have a kid's room, and we have a lot of moms and dads who work for this company, yeah. and sometimes uh, daycare blows out, or after school, there's always a handful of kids who come up, and it makes that management easier for our kids. Uh, we have a, a committee on our, st uh, on our team uh, we hand them literally several thousand dollars a year, and they are responsible for throwing a party for us once a month. Mm -hmm. They like may pay that. for the ice cream truck to come up, or they may cater a, a potluck or, or cater a lunch. Uh, we may close down early and go bowling. It doesn't matter. But uh, we also have an aggressive 401k plan. Uh, we guarantee a 10% match. But we've done as much over the last collection of years between a 25% and 35% match. That's amazing. So, so beyond good compensation and benefits. How do, how do you take care of the people who are really here to do great work, give them opportunity, help take care of their family, help take care of our community? All of that is helping take care of our employees. And so so yeah. after that, there's probably a bunch of people that want to come work for you. Let's do it. <laughs> we need you. Come on down. Share with our viewers, whether they're an advertiser, a mm -hmm. vendor, or a potential employee, mm -hmm. or a potential subscriber, what's the best way for them to get more information or find out more, either from you or from the company? Well, if you want to check out the company, you can go to ArkansasBusiness.com, and that's our business magazine. Okay. That's uh, uh, one way to do that, and you connect with me through that. You're always welcome to send me an email. We talked about that on the podcast, okay. too. And give me your email address. There you go. M. Bettis, M-B-E-T-T-I-S, at abpg.com and um, and then we can show you and explain all the different things that we have in our company as a way to help you help you and help you in your business or help you as a reader so. all right if you want to go back and catch the entire podcast go to arkansas.shrimptankpodcast.com you can also download us and subscribe subscribe to us through itunes and iHeartRadio. until next week stay safe and remember in the business world to become a shark we all start out as shrimp <laughs>